right. Well, hello, Nampa. My name is Tyler Keefe, and I am the NSD Digital Communications Specialist. And as I mentioned yesterday on the Parent Square video, it is National Substitute Appreciation Week. And so I thought, why not bring our substitute coordinator in for a quick conversation about what it really takes to be a substitute teacher, what it means, and, you know, the, the question a lot of people are asking is, how much do they actually get paid? So I'm going to go ahead and bring her in. And we have Tina McMullen here. Now, Tina, you have been working in Nampa for quite a while. Yes. And I remember when I first started back in 2007, I believe, hearing your name over and over. I never took a day off for like the first three years teaching just because I did not want to do that. Uh, but you've been around for a while. So kind of give us a brief, brief elevator speech of your history with the Nampa School District and really what you do for us. Okay. Um, so I've been with the district for 13 years. Um, I have worked both in the substitute office as well as in benefits. Um, so I've been in HR the whole time. Uh, so basically my job is uh, I run the frontline system, which is absence management, uh, as well as I hire the substitutes and then help with the placement on a daily basis. There's a bit of training. Yes. And over the summer, I've had the joy of helping out, taking some badge pictures, getting to know yes. uh, some of our wonderful substitutes, some of them that uh, substituted for me when I was a teacher. So that was also kind of fun to kind of reconnect with them and even parents of students that I had. Yes. Uh, thinking back over the years of me when I was a student, I remember my favorite substitute teacher was Mr. Rhodes. Uh, this was up in Washington, and he was an old World War II veteran. And we knew, now kids don't listen to this, we knew that if we got him talking about World War, that that would be our whole day. Which was great because he had some great stories. Amazing, amazing guy. Right. Um, but are are there any, or is there anybody that comes to your mind over over the years that you're like, I want a hundred of this person, a hundred of that person. They really have what it takes to be a, an amazing sub for yes. for for us here in Nampa. Yes, we we have a couple of them that are that way. Um, uh, I have a um, couple who work for me and uh, they've been with us for longer than I've been with the school district uh, and they're amazing they just get in and through COVID I would say they even though they're older they worked for us every day through this whole thing uh, and whenever we're talking about raises or bonuses or money they're always the one that comes to mind because they're the one that, you know, just really, truly, they were boots on the ground from the very beginning. So, so shifting gears here to the, the thing that people might, might be asking if they're on the fence about becoming a substitute teacher. So we'll, we'll do the, the good stuff first and maybe the, the nitty gritty after, uh, but what is NSD's current pay rate uh, per day for substitutes, and I do believe that we are still doing the bonus days on Mondays and Fridays. Uh, actually, uh, the superintendent has asked that we do it for every day. Oh, wow. Uh, so the average pay is $95 a day for a day-to-day -day assignment. If you're going to take a long-term assignment, like an FMLA, after the fifth day, it's $125 a day. The bonus uh, is Mondays and Fridays, you get an extra $70 a day added to the daily rate, depending on if it was long-term or the regular pay. Uh, and then Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, you get an extra $35 a day, again, added to the rate. So it's making us uh, where we're paying a more comparable pay than, uh, than we were before, especially when the, the need is so great. So... With the bonus pay, we're looking at a minimum of 125 a day. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Now, what are the requirements to become a substitute teacher? Um, so the state has certain requirements, and then each of the school districts have added to them on how they feel about it. 
Um, so you have to have, uh, you have to be either graduated or had your GED. Uh, we like it better if you have some background uh, in schooling. Uh, of course, the best would be if you have a degree. Um, but we have found that it is very hard to get people with degrees, especially right now, uh, because we really need them in the classrooms. Uh, so the um, best, my favorite substitutes are the moms, the moms who have buy-in in the schools, your volunteers, the people who've been in the classroom, who know the best schedules, who uh, know the specials, they know some of the teachers, and um, they have a feel for the school and how it works. Those are probably some of my favorites. Uh, the retired uh, teachers, um, they already know all of this stuff. They've done this. Um, and so they are also some of our, our best substitutes. Yeah. So l last question, I like to end any interview I do with this mm -hmm. and I, I have a specific reason for it and it, it'll, it'll come out in a second for you, but is there anything that, you know, we didn't say that you wish people out in Nampa knew about our guest teachers or substitute teachers that, you know, kind of goes un unsaid, unheard far too often, but you want to shout it from the rooftops? Uh, I guess the, the thing over the last couple of years is I keep hearing, where did the subject substitutes go during, you know, COVID or when the schools were closed down? Um, the substitutes didn't go anywhere. They were here and they were working. The nature of the job changed. And I feel like substitutes kind of took a little bit of a bad rap through that whole thing. Uh, but they were all here working. Uh, instead of it being a day-to-day -day job, for most of these people, flexibility is the highest thing that we can offer them. They can come and go as needed, either for their family or another job or because they're going to school. So we don't have that many people uh, that are wanting a job that's five days or 10 days or 15 days. You just don't have that many on the books. During COVID, we needed like 40, 50, 60 people who were willing to do 15 days at a time. Um, if we averaged it like they normally average, I would have had to have something like 1,600 substitutes on my books. We usually try and keep right around 400. Um, but it literally was like four times the amount to be able to cover everything. And we weren't the only one. We heard the same thing from West Data, from uh, Valley View, CUNA. Everybody was in the same situation. Yeah, you know, and that, and I said it before and I'll say it again. We couldn't have done what we did without without you, without our guest teachers. And, you know, now we're on the other side of things, hopefully, for the most part, um, you know, we're, we're, we're going to get back to somewhat of a normal, normalcy of things. And, you know, I, I, I often think, you know, like would I want to be a substitute at some point? I'm like, maybe once I retire and do kind of that, cause I do have that, that, you know, the teaching background. Um, but it, it, it takes a special kind of person and from every, every substitute I've ever met, they kind of have that it factor. And it's nice to know that we have you supporting them. It's nice to know that we have, you know, a lot of people around the district that are here to support them in their endeavors and helping us out as teachers, but also, you know, helping those students out um, to just lead them for a day, a week, a month, you know, however long it might be. Right. And, you know, so with that, I do want to thank you again for everything that you do for us. Um, I want to thank you for your time. You know, today's Wednesday. I can't believe it's Wednesday already. Um, you know, substitute appreciation week, and hopefully we'll be able to do a few more of these as we go right. throughout the year, maybe bring in a couple of guest teachers that would be great. and, you know, stuff like that. So I want to, want to thank you again, appreciate it. And, you know, those of you out there that are watching, uh, watching this, if you would like to become a substitute teacher, please go to our website. I'll put a link in the description below and, uh, that way you can get, get filled out get applied, get in here, get into the classrooms. And if you have any questions, I will put Tina's uh, contact information in the description as well. She's the best person to ask any of those questions about. And, uh, you know, we definitely appreciate your time and we'll see you later. Thanks.